Hey everybody, happy Monday. Welcome back to motherboards.org. I know probably many of you are at work going, oh man, so you're probably looking for something exciting for your Monday, right? Well, check it out. If you guys have been watching the channel and following along, last week I finally introduced my Red Dawn Extreme system. If you guys missed that vid, make sure you check it out. But today we're gonna to show you actually the hard drive performance of the two different drives that I have in here. Now I have an OCZ, I have 128 gigabytes, the Revo Drive 3, this is a PCIe SSD. I also have two Kingston HyperX drives, the 480 gigabyte models that are in RAID 0. So today we're just gonna check it out and rock out and check out the performance of my new Red Dawn Extreme. Let's go. Okay, folks, so here we have it. This is Drive C. This is the OCZ Revo Drive 3. This is Atto, one of the most common tests for testing SSDs. And let's run this bad boy and rock out to my new song. Let's go. Okay, next up, we have what I call my Z drive. This is my RAID array. It's based off two of the HyperX Kingston 480 gigabyte SSDs. Now let's go ahead and let's run the test and let's see how fast those bad boys are. So let's go. All right, everybody, I really hope that you like this. Everybody's always asked me about my personal system. So this is basically part one of the performance where you guys can see that both my OCZ PCIe and my RAID drive are both having extremely fast read and write speeds. Also, you guys can see that the actual write speeds on the RAID array are just off the hook. They're actually even faster than the read speeds. So overall, you guys know that everything on here is going really fast. When I have my games and they have large, huge packs to load, they all load very fast over my Z drive with the RAID array. I have no problem loading anything. So hope you guys like it. Hit the like button if you do. Always subscribe so you don't miss anything. Look for part two as we do the video card testing and then we'll move on to the cooling section. So see you guys back here on motherboards.org.